Eric Cho, how Thank do you, you feel after 20 odd years in the business? A bit tired, <laughs> but because of my passion for, for, for the craft, you know, I, I face of it, you know. Yeah, because you started your career back in Kelantan, Trungganu, yeah. yeah, Kelantan in Trungganu, with uh, Batik. It's amazing that uh, non-Chinese at that time started with Batik. And how did you get into Batik then? Well... To cut the story short, yes. <laughs> actually, I was I was invited to manage a guest house in Trangano mm. uh, for minimum wage, but they gave me a, a small space in the guest house restaurant to do whatever business I can. Mm -hmm. So I chose Batik. Initially, it didn't do well because I just retail. Yes. So after that, I said, why don't I make some casual stuff like Bermuda shorts and then the tank, yeah, tank, it's very casual tank. Feel. Yeah. Yes. Then the Pasamala people copied. So I said, I must do something more than that. I will design the prints. Yes. You see, in the world, anything that you do good, people will tend to copy. That shows that your things are nice. If your things are not good, you think they will copy? <laughs> Absolutely Thank you not. very much. Thank yeah, you very so much. Because your things has been, you know, honestly, for the last many years, you are very focused into your batik. Is that how your Ito comes around? I, I, for me, it's very obvious. Eric To is Ito. That's your line. E apostrophe T-H-O. Yes, yes. But actually, I didn't want to use Eric To. It's because it sounds too first line. <laughs> then if people would say, oh, it, it, it's like uh, Versace, but it's so expensive, isn't it? And Ito sounds a bit Japanese, a bit foreign. So with the apostrophe, mm -hmm. I think people might guess that it's Eric To, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess that sometimes when a brand does very well, it, it doesn't matter whether it's by Eric To or not, because yeah. then the brand can can carry forward and be international it's because of the brand name. But of course, it's always nice to, to know the designer behind the brand. You know, it can be Ito by, you know, like Eric, whoever. Eric To. Yeah. But the thing is, at the end of the day, for me, I, I think if I have a brand, I will just want the brand to fly. <laughs> of course, of course. You know? If there's an opportunity, yes. Yeah, yeah so now, um, what is your next uh, plan after all these years in Batik? You're having a new collection now without Batik? Uh, the first few years, uh, when I came back to Kuala Lumpur about 18 years ago, when mm -hmm. I started Ito per se, it was just Batik. Yes. It was silks. Kabayas, Chong yeah, Sams, and so forth. Because all these years, I know that you really, you know, one of the pioneer in the batik. Yeah. You know, uh, Especially for, for a non non yes, Malay, yes. non Bumi. Yes. So after a few years, I customers are telling me, well, I'm I have so many of your batik stuff. Why don't you use something different? I said, all right, I'll try. I mean, uh, being not exactly a trained or a, 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 a qualified designer, I I picked up. Yeah, there because yeah, those years, uh, yeah. a lot of them, a lot of you guys, uh, a lot of people actually trained, self-trained, yes, you know, and yes. you learned through the trade. Yeah. You know? There were very few schools then, you know. Um, okay, then I deviated from batik yeah. and uh, into other fabrications and uh, into other styles as well. So in, instead of just shong sams and kabayas, I do have some western pieces, mm, although yes. not a lot, because like they say, you know, uh, generally, designers that can make or create mm -hmm. a chow sum or a good kabaya can easily take on a western gown. Mm -hmm. Designers who can create a western gown may not necessarily create a good chow sum yeah, or kabaya. Yeah, because is very traditional and you have to really master the cut. The cut. It's the cut and the, you know, that, that the poise and everything has to be, you know, and also the workmanship. <laughs> yes, and the collar and the sleeve. Yes, if it's not exactly. well done, the sleeve will fly. Yes, it's yeah. true. And you're wearing one of your own collection, right? Yes, yes. This is um, very nice. Nice. Contemporary, yellow. yeah. Exactly, I'm wearing orange today to match you. <laughs> Very much. I love bright outfits because it's really, you know, make you a brighter day, a sunshine. Of course. So, Ito, so um, I heard that maybe, you know, you are going to venture out of Malaysia. I know it's very hard work, but this is in your pipeline, right? Yeah, hopefully by next year. Yeah, when I gather enough courage and enough funds, we will go. Yeah, because it's, uh, fashion is a very expensive business. <laughs> yeah, to so remain locally now, I think uh, it, it, it's, it's a bit saturated. Mm. The Malaysian market has got too many new designers coming up. Yeah, and also our market, our, our own population is very small. We only have maximum, I think it's about 28 million uh, people only. Yes, yes. <laughs> you see, As... we used to have a big pie of cake, you know, yeah. a big piece of a cake. But right now, you see, every year there are new designers and of course, uh, the previous 10 years already upcoming and mm. all 
veteran designers has to, you know, I, I'm Ops, sure you I have. have options. <laughs> yeah, but you do have a lot of your uh, diehard fans. That's how you keep your business running because yeah. if not, you know, it's very difficult and all your loyal customers. Yes, so, we do so have. Said, yeah? Yeah. We do have some customers stretching as many as 16 years. So now do you still maintain your shop at uh, KLCC? Uh, I think you Mid Valley only. Uh, Mid Valley yeah. now. Mm. Mm. Mid Valley is actually a very good place to have your... Uh, yes, big crowd. But again, we are in a niche business. We have our own clientele, our own loyal customers and a few tourists once in a while. So do you still do you go back to Turunganu or Kelantan? Very rare because I have uh, my contracted uh, artisans locally. Mm -hmm. uh, I train them to, to, to do what I want, yes. not what they want. Although I'm quite open to their ideas mm -hmm. because it's nearer to check on them, you see. Yes, yeah. yes. That's great. So I hope to see more Ito line. Thank you very Ito much. Ito collection more in all the shows and all that. I think you're taking, you have, you have been actually taking quite a, a leisure time lately. Uh, for the past one year or so, uh, yeah. it's quite low profile mm. because of personal uh, yes, yes, reasons. Yes. Yeah. But I'll be back. Yes. Stronger. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to see more of your colorful batik shirts. Wonderful. Yeah. We, we need that, you know how it okay. is. Okay. So nice to see you again. Thank you, Kiran. Yes. Thank you very much.